Hello everyone, um, my name is Pluty, or, well, technically, uh, today we're going to be playing a game called, um, Firewatch. Um, this game's been getting pretty popular recently, and it, it's came up, it's come out quite a few years ago, um, but like I said, it's getting more popular through, you know, TikTok, social media, whatever, and people like the story of it and it's one of those indie games where it's very high highly rated so here i am i'm playing on the xbox series x so uh let's uh let, let's do it shall we okay so press a to start here we are so new game load game settings special features let's go to settings let's see master volume music voice sounds I'm sure this stuff is fine. Brightness, just a little bit more, I guess. Uh, okay, let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, new game, empty game. All right. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Okay. Alright. We see Julia. Okay. I have no clue what this game is about, so I don't know what to expect. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. College University Boulder, maybe? I don't know. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Hey, what's good, my G? <laughs> you are drunk. So what's, so what's your, you know, major? <laughs> this reminds me of that, uh, so you go uni here then. <laughs> uh, no, okay. Um, so what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. But you, we well, are straighten, shall we? You're, you're pretty. She says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Yeah, I, I mean, I would be there. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger. She says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julie's boyfriend. Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. So Julia is our girlfriend. Then. Um. Let's see. Shall we? So here we are. Uh. So like I said, this is an indie game, right? So it's gonna have a very unique kind of art style or experience even so right trigger to use objects so I've got me backpack okay all right ah, here we are I'm guessing we uh, maybe come out of our apartment or or the club or the pub or restaurant whatever I'm not sure I'm not sure yet truck door get in okay uh, is there anything around here I often like to uh, explore before I do anything. You know, I'm a bit, I am like, I am one of those people. Uh, yeah, okay, that is to run. Okay, uh, I guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's get into the truck. All right. Uh, in fact, let me check real quick. Um. Uh, not the controls, but maybe, uh, we're, okay, we can display subtitles, just so it's easier to follow. Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's get into the truck, shall we? We have a ring on our left hand there, that's I just saw. You date for over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts, it's great, that's wholesome. 
You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. <laughs> Lovely. Alcoholism. Julia wants to get a dog. Yo, what kind of dog? There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her, with her to class. To class? The, what? You're allowed? There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Ooh. Honestly, okay. I, 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 <laughs> you pick up the beagle, beagle and she names him Bucket. Okay. Shepherd and name him Me Mayhem. I'm going to go with the Shepherd, man. I think Shepherds are just lovely dogs. A lot of training, I would think. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. That's good. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet, all rolled into one. Ah, oh, okay. Is this going to be an emotional game? I'm worried. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9:30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. Off of the high desert. Desert. Can't speak. What do you think about kids? She asks. She asks. Oh, okay. Kids. They're not very smart. Or good at much. <laughs> I'm saying, if you, you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. One day. Why rush? That would be pretty good. We'll say that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. <laughs> you say she's absolutely right. <laughs> okay. Right. So we're learning more about our relationship with Juliet, or the person that we're playing as. Uh, which we don't know yet. Um, or I don't know yet. Maybe some of you are watching this and thinking, Oh, I know all about this game. Well, isn't that lovely? Okay. Uh, Thoroughfare Trailhead. Okay. Uh, do not forget to check in. No fight. No fireworks. Yep, that kind of makes sense. Yep. Uh, you're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Yeah. Okay. Basically hiking. This is a map. So, uh, it's all a bit blurry. Five mile, uh, so I think I would assume the red square is where we are. Um, okay. But, okay, we can go that way, maybe? Or that way, perhaps? Can we go this way? So that jump button? Okay, I don't think we can go this way. I don't think we're meant to. Fire danger. Prevent forest fires. Okay, so I think we'll just go this way and see what uh, there is. Uh, and actually, wait, hold on. Anything in the truck? No. You know, we're not we're not forgetting anything. What's that? Hat. Examine. Ah. Ah, uh, right, okay. Cody, Wyoming. And it's got like a, a man on a horse. We'll put on the hat. Damn, we got the, we got the drip. Okay. Okay, alright. Let's, uh, let's, uh, carry on, shall we? So far, it's, uh, it's a very unique looking game. I'm not going to say that the graphics are bad because, you know, it's an artistic choice with these things. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call, you're worried, and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Right. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Um... 
I think it's better to get mad than just ignoring it because that's silent treatment and silent treatment isn't nice, I think. It's a bit psychopathic. You do that. You call her, I mean, not like this stuff. I don't know if this, this stuff really matters, I'm not sure. Um, you call her an inconsiderate arsehole, okay. She tells you to fuck yourself and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. Damn. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. These things happen in relationships. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from the from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. That is very uh, zesty. I'm gonna flex like an absolute giga chad. <laughs> You look awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh, a bit of action there. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. Ooh, very very orange. Looks like the cover for the game. Okay, right. So we'll just go down this way. What does this say? Two forks. Fire lookout. Eight more miles still. Okay. Eight miles? What the hell? Clover? Very beautiful. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh god. In the UK. Mayhem runs away. May me moo. Fuck. Da, da. May me moo. Fuck. The dog. Julia yells. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat his goddamn face in. That one. You beat him up. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. Smart. You say, okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Okay. 1984. Plans to have goods get waylaid by work. Okay. Classic. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Um, con convince her to con convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Ooh. Okay. I think to convince her it would really upset her, but I think if she really wants that job, she needs to understand the, the sacrifices that she'll make. And, you know, well, therefore, Julia, I think. Um, I agree if she commutes back and forth. I think we go with this, and then she might learn her, her own lesson. You know, we learn through our own experiences more. So we'll go with that one. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that it'll be hard, but she'll do, do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Okay. Right. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Right, okay, so it's, uh, it's her fault, let's be honest. She was found crying in the stairwell. You see that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and, and try to forget about it. Uh, we'll go with this one because 
you say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. <laughs> uh, I, this just depends on the person, doesn't it? I mean, what I would do is this. You say that maybe you guys... I, I'm, I'll just go with that. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they were that Julie might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. Oh, shit. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Ah. Oh. God, right. Oh, okay. It's one of these games then, isn't it? Um, journal. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, uh, good thing there was nothing in that. Uh, I didn't really... I didn't fully read that, though. <laughs> I mean, my eye went to one area, I think. It kind of makes sense. <laughs> Mayhem is getting older. She's got silver hair down his back. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julie walk into the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julie goes back to the university. Okay. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. God, that must suck. Some days you get the Juliet who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family... Oh, okay, I assume her dad has passed away, or, or is dead. If, you know... She's having those thoughts. Um, You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. Right. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Oh man. Oh, the colours changed now as well. 1988. You spend your days following Julie around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple months. So, okay. Ooh. Um. Ah, this is this is tough because you know these things are very. Um, I mean, I kind of understand how this feels already, like you know, in person. Um. I'm determined to take care of her by what uh, the, that one I meant, not. Not this one, but that one. You are determined to take care of, your, of her by yourself. I've done that before in, in person, in real life. Um, it's it's a weird feeling. I think... But you also often hear, like, bad kind of... You, you often hear bad things about, you know, people being in a, in a full-time care facility, you know, like a care home or hospital you know, constantly getting checks and all of that, and it doesn't feel like home. I think, okay, for her, it'd be best for this one. You have to turn to care for her by yourself, in your own home. I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, here we are. So far, this is very interesting. Very interesting game. What's that over there? Can I... Can I go over there? Ah. It 
it is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. Yeah. Ugh. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours. Drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. Oh. You put a chair in front of the bedroom. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that would send her crazy if she does wake up and, you know, needs the toilet or whatever. Uh, God, um... You, I think... You trust that she sleeps like a rock. I'm going with that. I wonder what the whole case is with the with the colour in the background. I don't know if that's like a thing, you know, like a, you know, to say that oh you made a, a good decision or a bad decision. I don't know. That's I'm curious. Um, you go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> It's a huge weight off your home and in bed by 1am, a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Not to the nights, uh, forward to the nights with Sheila, is that what we're, is that what we're doing now? Because, man. 1989, one night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. DUI, um, what's... I cannot remember what a DUI is. Um. Hold on. Apologies. This video is uncut, and I wouldn't. As much as I, you know, cut stuff out, I think. Um. I want to keep it. Uh. Grounded. Driving under the influence. Right, of course. Okay. DUI checkpoint. Okay. You blow a point ten and are taken to jail for the night. Yeah, okay. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister in law Susan. Okay. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Is that what this is? The fire watch guard. You take it. Must be, of course. Okay. Right. Into the lookout tower. Okay. Right. Here we are. Wait, what was that? Uh, something popped up then. What was that? I uh, don't know what that was. Oh. Doesn't matter. Um, okay. Hmm. Uh, is this... Uh, is it an open world? I don't think it is. Oh, there's another thing there. Oh, that's what it is. It probably is an open world. You know, if there's something like this, I think it will be. And it just renders, you know, obviously as you go along. Okay, uh, the door was over here. Here we are. Turn on the power. So the power shall be somewhere, is it? Generate, generate switch, there you go. 
Give it, a, give it a smack there. Hello, oh. Hello. It is I. The one and only Ali Shi. Contact supervisor radio. Ah. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Is she at that other lock lookout then? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry. Wait, Henry, of course, yeah. right. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's Delilah. what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Delilah, is this... Okay, um, okay. you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids <laughs> by the sound of your voice at least 15 years ago. <laughs> you come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> okay, <good night>. Bye. <laughs> Here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Right. <laughs> That's a funny start. Day one, okay. Right. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> You probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Okay. Uh, answer radio. Cool. Hey, sorry. Guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what, 6? 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes. I do. Okay, yeah, I see it. <laughs> this is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. <laughs> Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Uh, wait. Uh, wait, where? Sorry? Was it west? Did she say west? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Am I? Am I? I'm dumb. It was West, wasn't it? Right? Seriously, are you seeing this? <laughs> Where? Sorry. Henry. I hold on. Ah, there we go. Yes. Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. No, it isn't. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. Um. Do you think you can handle that? Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 Jesus, no. <laughs> I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. 
Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. <laughs> Find rope in NFS cash box 306. Okay, that's... Uh, so I pressed... Secure. Uh, right. Okay, so... I guess uh, we get going then to the fireworks. Glass cleaner, old Scottish oil soap. Okay, that's random. The singular mind. Okay. Patriots, the birds of Wyoming. Okay, right. Anyway, okay, I think we need to go to the fireworks, so. Um, how do you, okay, hold on, so how do you, um, get the, uh, compass out, so it's down on the D-pad, okay, map, camera, compass, so it's west, honey me, ah, sorry, apologies. Yeah, less. There's the... There's the step. Okay, there's the... There's the stairs. Okay. Right, so... We're gonna see who's... I'm gonna show them who's boss around here, you know? <clears throat> Alright. Okay. Here we go. Just to make sure. West. Read map, I guess. Find rope in NFS cash box three oh six. Um Jonesy Lake. Okay, yeah. So it is open world then, yeah. You have like, like a whole mountain range to uh, explore and hike around. <clears throat> Alright. Climb over Okay. So far, the game is pretty cool, I've got to say, because it's actually very unique. Ah, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. Hold rope. Deal with whoever is setting off fireworks, yeah. Granola bar. Eat. We'll eat it. Pine cone. Do we need the pine cone? I'm going to take the pine cone with me. You're coming with me, Pinecone. Uh, I guess we'll go left, because this is more west. <clears throat> I'd say I have a pretty good uh, sense of direction, so I think I won't have too much trouble with this game. We'll see, though. Ah, it just loops onto the same thing. Okay. Just up there, yeah. Okay. Like I said before, very um, unique graphics. Drop. Attach rope to hook. So we're pretty much um, abseiling down, kind of. On a slight slope. Oh, oh, damn! <gasps> pine cone. I've got my pine cone with me. Was that meant to happen? Probably was, wasn't it? 
it's fine. Is there any combat in this game? I doubt, I doubt there's combat in this game. Report climbing accident. <laughs> Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. Hmm. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Boulder, yeah. yeah. Climbing, yeah. Out. Ooh, yeah. Beer cans. On a camping bender, they were able they on. Uh. Oh, whiskey. Yeah, Irish. Very Irish. Single malt whiskey. I like whiskey myself, so I will save this for later. Stump out. Yeah, just to make sure, you know, we are the firewatch. Fire, firewatch, firewatch. Bundle of fireworks. Confiscate. Okay. Oh, you can clean up. You can actually clean them up. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, there's backpacks up here. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we can't take anything, of course, because that would be very immoral. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feed away. Yeah, we'll clean up. We'll be a good Samaritan. Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, don't see any other. Don't see any more. I don't think. Something up there. Uh, I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Mm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I already know that. I just thought what would, what would be said in that dialogue. Uh, be a can. So, okay, I think, I think that's fine. Is there an achievement for cleaning up? <laughs> Who knows. But there's something here. Two pairs of clothes. So, two lads. Two backpacks. I hear music. Oh. Well then, um, okay, no, put, uh, put it down, yeah, we don't need it. Ah. Damn. <laughs> it's the way, <laughs> the way, the way he drops them. Um, okay. What's going on here? This skinny dipping, is that, is that what they've done? What they're doing. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Yeah. Guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Okay. Right. Full stereo! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down! We won't light anymore! 
This guy's creepy, Chucky. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea? What? It's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's <laughs> rodent. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Right. That's not the case. You don't know a damn thing about me. We know you're a peeping Tom. How long have you been standing over there? Oh my god, is that what you are? Work me out. Ew. Huh. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You are gross. Chelsea and Lily. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Huh. Okay. Right, find a way back to Two Forks Lookout. Okay, I guess uh, that would be our job done for that. Two Forks Fire Lookout, so this way. Uh, it went fine. It went fine. Hopefully, there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Are they still there? Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or consumption? Consumption. Yeah, if they're not 19th century <laughs> chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, <laughs> if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Um. Okay. So I think I think it's this way. Might not be. <laughs> Might be going a completely different way. But I think it is this way. I am enjoying the um the voice acting, to be honest. So I have a bit of a confession to make. No, my my headset. What is it? Um I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. And you thought it was a good idea to get into your um, love life, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> anyway, I'm uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh to a minimum. Anyway, <laughs> let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Oh, I'm just gonna let her have that one. <laughs> Open. Three. All the same right here. Okay. So, flashlight. Oh, take the flashlight. Yep, that's handy. Oh, is it one of those? Huh, that was smart. One of those uh, kinetic ones, I'm, I'm guessing. A horn. A horn. Okay. Drop. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So, it looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. Uh, another Gates lookout? to cave 452. They never come out. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. I thought that looked, uh... Like a bit of a, a le bit of level design philosophy there. <laughs> okay, right. Let's get back to the fire watch before this storm 
before we get caught in the storm. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't That was weird. So. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Is it? Oh, right. Well then. We don't need the flashlight on for this. Jump here. Okay. Nice. Uh, I suppose... Is, are there like... Small details. I mean, the guy was literally stood up here, wasn't he? Right? What was he? Uh, yeah, you can, I think he was. Well, around, around here. Um, does it matter where we go as well? Because I think. No, he was stood up there, wasn't he? So, up here. Climb rocks, a bit of bouldering. I, I used to do a bit of bouldering myself, to be honest. I, well, I still do. A bit of rock climbing. Pretty fun, to be honest. Okay, I've chosen the... Uh, the harder route here, I guess. The red route. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I thought he was, he was uh, struggling there. Hop over. Yeah, is that is this where we need to go? Maybe no. Is it? Oh no, maybe not. No. Huh. Okay. Yeah, through here. Yeah. All right. Climax. Yeah. I I hope this is uh, the right way. I mean, should it be. Really? Come on, Henry. You got this. Come on, pal. Ooh. Trail closed sign. Oh. Oh. Right. Damn it. That was a very cartoon-like fall. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, I think from here we could probably, you know. Find where the tower is. What's that noise? Oh, it's. Ah, here we go. Right here. Lovely. Typewriter? Why is there a typewriter here? Bring it up with me. Fuck it. Fuck it, wee ball. Um, broken glass. Ah, someone's... Someone's broken in. Well, my typewriter is on the ground Ooh. outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Right. Okay. This is uh, concerning. Wait, photo... Wait, what was that? Photo of Julia. There was a photo of Julia there. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do 
you have any idea who would have done this? Um. Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Mm. I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get right. much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. <laughs> Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Day two. Right. We'll have to see how many days there are in this game. Wake up. Hey, wake up. Right, okay. I'm going to finish it there. Um, that's been very interesting so far. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pause. Hopefully, maybe. Oh wait. Uh. Okay, I can't yet. <laughs> Hold on. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Our problem. I'm sorry, our problem. Achievements. That storm knocked out the phone oh. line. I used to Whoa, that's a service, lot of game of school. Cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Yeah. And I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Straight to north when you come out. It's Henry. Yeah, what, it's you Henry. Don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, that was day one in Firewatch. So, I mean, at the moment, the game seems very interesting. Interesting backstory with, you know, the whole thing of our girlfriend, uh, Julia, having dementia. That's quite, that's really sad. You know, it's a horrible, I, I would think it's horrible to go through. Um, as I've had a few friends, and I've known a few people who have had to deal with their loved ones having dementia as well. It's, it's a rough thing. And... I can already tell this game's going to be one of those games where it'll wrench your your emotions, I think. We'll see, though. I will see. But I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll be back with the next episode. See you in a bit.